During your time in Starfield, you will come across a wide variety of different quests and often find yourself being the hero, saving the people, saving the town and saving the day. But sometimes you arrive too late and everything's already gone horribly wrong. This is All Out Gamer, I'm Echo and here are five terrifying situations in Starfield that went horribly wrong. Starting out at number five, we have the slaughter on the abandoned mining platform. What first appears to be just another random location on your journeys turns out to be something truly horrifying. The moment you arrive, you are met with a hostile life form standing over the body of the last remaining survivor of the platform. A nearby audio recording foreshadows the devastation you're about to find. Creatures of some kind are swarming the platform. They look like... Like crustaceans, maybe uh, they were moving too fast to tell. I had to run. Oh, oh no, I'm the only one who made it outside. Someone in the generator room is pounding on the door to get out here. I can't go back in there. Proceeding deeper into the facility, you come across more of the organisms and bodies of the dead miners scattered throughout. On the upper platform, it's clear to see this is where the miners made their last stand. They armed themselves and made makeshift fortifications ready to fight. Not long after, a swarm approaches and it's clear to see the miners didn't stand a chance. The vast numbers of the swarmlings made me wonder, how did they get here? If you proceed further into the facility, it all becomes clear. Like the dwarves of Moria, these miners dug too greedily and too deep and brought about their own destruction. And by the time they knew that something was wrong, it was already too late, and hundreds of these creatures had reached the platform. Ah, do you know that barrier we've been trying to punch the drill through for the past week? Well, this morning we broke through. But it wasn't oil that came up. It was those creatures. I was here in the control room. Hundreds of those creatures climbed out of the drill too. At number four, we have the disaster at the Reliant Medical Organics Lab. From the moment that you touch down at this location, it's clear that something is wrong. The lab's defences are fighting some unknown creatures. The computer inside says that the lab is on full lockdown. Code red. An on-screen warning advises of a perimeter breach. Further reading suggests that habitat control needs to be reactivated in the control tower. With this objective in mind, you can press on deeper into the lab. Unlike the mining platform, this place is eerily quiet. Aside from the occasional bug, there's not a soul in sight. As you press deeper still, the platform collapses beneath your feet. This is when a swarm of bugs and flying creatures known as vampires will attack. As you look at the main greenhouse, it's clear to see what happened to all the scientists working here. The power to the main research station is out, so it's time to press on and find that control tower. To do so, you'll have to make your way through flooded sections swarming with enemies. When you finally make it to the control room, you will find one single body, the hero that managed to initiate the lockdown. After you restore the power, you can head down the stairs and into that central lab. There are no more bodies or audio logs to tell the story of what happened here, but you will get a skill book. At number three, we have the explosion at the facility in Charybdis. This can be found as part of the Operation Starseed quest. You were asked by Roosevelt to explore the facility and find the codes that control the robots. But it's clear from the very start that there's more to this facility than meets the eye. There are creatures everywhere and the walls are covered with chitin. The deeper you plunge, the more creatures you find. The blood on the walls as well as the general disarray of these living quarters suggests exactly what happened in the facility. Nearby diaries will confirm that Genghis got his hands on some explosives and setting them off, he opened up a cavern. Plunging deeper through this burrow, you'll come face to face with a giant maggot maw. This maggot maw will put your guns and armor to the test, so make sure you bring your best equipment. This thing is a true testament to the recklessness of Genghis Khan in this quest. When you finally defeat the maggot maw, you can grab the codes from the nearby terminal and finally get out of this literal hellhole. As a side note here, this thing one shot me. I'm not even joking. I'll put the clip of that at the end for your enjoyment. At number two, we have the one situation we're probably all familiar with, the disaster at the Xeno Warfare Lab on Crete. As you proceed through this laboratory at the start of the game, it becomes apparent that the UC Vanguard have set up a secret facility 
inside Freestar Collective space. However, the stories told on the computer terminals, as well as the bodies scattered throughout the facility, tell a tale of failure. Deep inside is a giant holding tank, but clearly something has escaped. There are scratch marks throughout and blood covers the floors. Not far away, a computer suggests that the scientists were working on taming terramorphs. The records state that most of the UC Marines who tried to take in this creature died doing so, and yet the scientists still decided to press ahead with the research. And a little bit further into the facility, you see that they found out just how big a mistake that was. It's loose. The terramorph is loose. We can't stop it. When, when we tried to sync with the neural control interface, it just completely flipped out. Broke through its containment chamber like it was made out of paper. You're dead. We're all dead. The comms relay has been trashed. The whole room is trashed. We can't call for help. I can hear the terror morph roaring somewhere. And more people screaming. <laughs> Even though you're at the start of the game, should you wish to, you can track down this xenomorph once you return to the outside. Pull out your scanner and look for the nearest available location. Be ready and make sure your gear is ready too, because this thing's going to put up a fight. To stand any chance of defeating this Xenomorph at such a low level, you need to get to a high place and use Vasco as a distraction. Don't make the same mistake the scientists did and underestimate this monster. Put everything you have to taking it down. Take it from me, this thing is tough, but it's entirely doable. I had to resort to an axe as you can see. At number one, we have quite possibly the creepiest thing in Starfield, the mystery of the colander. This is an abandoned ship that can be found in orbit around Shore Ninja 3. The first thing you will notice on approach is there's no option to hail this ship, so there's clearly nobody available on the comms. And the first thing you see upon boarding is the body of one of the crewmates. Nearby is a written request that another crewmate immediately initiate lockdown. Records in the medical bay suggest that two crew members died of multiple puncture wounds and head trauma. However, there are no other bodies close by and no sign of the doctor. And moving further into the ship yields no further results either. No sign of the crew, no body, no sign of a struggle and no blood. However, behind one of the living quarters is a vent you can slip into. Down below, you can check the system computer. The system logs have recorded that every member of the crew is deceased. And just a little further away, you finally get your first glimpse at the creature that killed them all. Proceeding through the ship, you can finally face down the creature and take it down. Please note that this one is tough, with a level range between 50 and 90. Bring your anti-Xeno gear. Once you've defeated the creature, you're free to search the ship. There are other logs that suggest exactly what happened here. Two members of the crew had made a deal with a company to bring back the creature alive. But predictably, it broke free from its cell and into the vents. That's the end of my list. But as promised, here's that cliff of me getting wrecked by the maggot moor. Thank you very much for watching. Leave me a comment below if you think I've missed any. Like, subscribe, I'll see you in the next one, and good luck in Starfield.